Okay, so this for the recording. Hello, everyone, to this job gossip session. So you can see that there are questions posted in the chat box. Um, did you do a company study among the jobs that you applied for? What research technique did you find the most effective in gathering information about the company? Uh, what challenges did you face during the assignment? Or how did you overcome them? Uh, what was the coolest piece of information you found about the company? So this is like about the company study you have, you have done. So like, uh, yeah, let's start this. Uh, we need volunteers, people who can answer these questions about the company they did a study for. And um, also, if you want to have any, if you have any like um, observations about the jobs you, you have seen or applied for, uh, please let us know. So, yeah, let's see hands going up. Anyone? My audio. Yes, yes, you are. Yeah. Okay. It was the network, and I had to use join also. Um, so yeah, okay. So maybe if you could show us hands if you submitted the challenge. Anyone who submitted? Okay, yeah, that's great. Anyone else? Anyone else? Who's submitted the challenge is it only johannes okay okay then okay abraham ross and hillary um we still have more people um anyone else who submitted the challenge or maybe you can open up your mic and maybe let us know uh, why you didn't submit. Or maybe if you think that your um, uh, okay, so we only have two people who submitted. Uh, okay, then maybe we can add more questions or we could do a round table check with everyone on maybe on which companies you, you would want to do a company study session. So a uh, study uh, assignment. So uh, maybe we can go with Salamite first and then Henok, um, Wandera, Hilary, uh, Johannes submitted, um, Daisy, Sheila, Abraham also submitted, and then we can move to Javis and Gilbert. So, um, so yeah, Salamait, you can open up your mic and tell us which company you would want to do a company study on and also on which jobs you've applied for yesterday, if you've applied.
If you're speaking, you're on mute. Salamat. Um, okay, I, I've, I've, I've raised my hand. I don't know why, uh, but uh, I did do a company study yesterday and submit the company study as well. And I researched on a company that I was trying to apply to. So uh, the company that I applied to was Midrift, Mind Rift. Uh, and that was the research technique that I used. I just followed the outline that I already had from previous uh, company studies. So based off that, and um, in addition to their LinkedIn website and uh, Crunchbase, I used uh, the posts that had, they had multiple blog posts of mind, mind, mind Rift does and <clears throat> what Mindrift does and what they're about and what they're currently working on and stuff like that. They have uh, they have multiple blog posts, so I used that as an, an information, as a, I, I used that as an information base as well in addition to their, to the general ones that was listed in the company study challenge document. And so that's the research technique that I used. Challenge that you guys do with the uh, so there was a lot of information, and like the previous company studies uh, with Mindriff, there was a lot of information to go through and to make sure like all the blogs are credible and it's, it came from a credible source. Uh, those were one like some of the challenges that I faced um, while doing the company study, but I will say it went really much, much faster than what it was taking me like the past week. So it was it was really it was really faster than the past company studies that I made. Mm. OK, OK, good. So when you do this types of like uh, assignments, for example, which information do you prioritize when, like, when there is too much information to look into? So the main things that I look into are, for, for example, some companies are just not uh, related to uh, like software development or AI or generative AI, which is my track of choose like my chosen track so i try to focus on the products and services that they offer that are relevant to my uh that are relevant to my field and to my interest as well and what i would assume we would be discussing in an interview if, if when usually the company is a huge company and also i try to focus on their mission their vision and their core values so those are the three things i look into as well and yeah and also i tried to go on linkedin and see the recent posts and the recent uh, developments and current trends that they're following like it might be a new product they're working on a new collaboration or partnership so those things i give more emphasis into so because that's what i assume if i was to have an interview with that company uh, i think those are the things that would be raised Okay, okay, that's good. So, um, so you, I think this time you had to choose the company. So why, why did you choose companies that aren't like that don't align with your like uh, chosen talk? Or like, are, were you just interested? Did you want to look into like what they do in general or why? that's not what i meant what i meant was some companies are big they they also have this specific track within them but they also have other departments and other like other departments just like a whole other department for marketing and maybe for something else as well so i try to focus on the products and services that they offer specifically related to this is what i meant Oh, okay, okay, got it. That's good. That's really good. So, any other companies uh, you've looked into? I've not done other company studies other than this one right now. 
I was just trying to like refine my application content for this company. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so be honest with me and just tell me if this uh, if this is efficient. If it's like uh, good to step up, like of companies uh, or most of the companies you would apply for. I didn't get that. Can you say it again? I didn't get the question. There was background noise. Also, do you think would be able to do it on the jobs you would apply for. Come again. You were breaking again. I'm sorry. Am I audible? Is it from my sense? Yes. Now you're old. Oh okay. Maybe um can you can you guys me? Oh okay. Okay great. I think there's a background noise. Um, okay, so do you think the company study assignment is efficient? For example, if you if you want to play like. I'm not sure I caught everything, but uh, I'm assuming your question is, is the company study like assignment efficient? 10 to 20 so companies, I think I... Um, do you think you'd be able to do it to all? If not, uh, what would... Am I audible, guys? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Then maybe we can we can okay. go to. Okay. The... So from what I caught, from what I caught, your question is: Is it efficient to do a company research for ten to ten companies? Um and. I, I would say um, doing this formal like um, slides for 10 to 10, com 10 companies per day if we're applying to 10 jobs every day, I wouldn't think, I wouldn't say that's efficient because um, it's more structured and we have to look for specific information about the company. Uh, but I think how, doing the company research in such a structured and formal way after, get, after passing the first application stage, would be a must so i think that it would be effective doing it then then just from the beginning before we apply uh, hopefully i caught the question correctly because you're we're breaking with maybe my network as well Okay. Uh, I'm from uh, 
Okay, so um, no problem. Uh, so let's continue. Who who else want to um, to share? Who's next? Have you all like um uh... okay Abdurrahman? Go ahead. Hello. Uh, Hello. I joined a few minutes late. Uh, I think I should answer the question on the chat box. Right. Okay. Uh, I actually didn't do a company study for job I applied. It's just uh, a quick research. Uh, the technique I used, I just usually using uh, Replexity AI. So I got uh, uh, a few information about the company and also check uh, their LinkedIn. So that's all uh, the research I'm doing before applying to Yop. So, oh. okay. Because, yeah. Uh, because of that, I don't think uh, I faced any challenge uh, during this process. All right, uh, and were you getting like um, enough information from this research, you think? Okay, uh, actually, I think uh, I'm usually focused on what the company do or what's their product and uh, a little bit understanding of their culture. So I think uh, this is a, uh, most thing I'm I'm focused I'm focused on when when I apply. Okay. Um. And so, like, uh, were you looking at like uh, the people in the company, like, uh, um, what kind of teams they have, something like that? Uh, sometimes I find uh, one of my uh, one or two of my uh, university alumni. So. Uh, when I, I see people like this, or I see this in LinkedIn, I go there and see who works uh, on the company. But uh, sometimes when I don't see this, I just skip this. I see. OK. Um, OK, thank you, Abdurrahman. Um, thank you. OK, Sheila? Um, hello. Um, I'm sorry, but I can't. Okay, I'll try to talk. Um, yeah. So I think the only company that I was able to, sorry, to do a company research on, the one I applied to, was NetGuardians. Yeah. So far, I have only applied to NetGuardians because, like, I was waiting for the right platform to be able to apply to others. But yeah, so I did the company research, but I've done a company research on also two other companies, on or on the other companies on Meta. Yeah. Hi. Sorry. No problem. It's okay. Okay. Um. Uh, let's wait for Sheila to come back. Yes, uh, Sheila, you can respond in the chat if you want. Um, in the meanwhile, Johannes. Are you there? Can you respond or? Yeah. Can you speak or can you respond in the chat maybe?
Sorry, did you say you on this? Yes. Have you? Yes, yes, I can speak now. So right. I actually uh, chose the company I already applied for. Uh, the first company is called Inset IO. It's from it's a company from Israel, and I already got the rejection message from them. And the second company I chose was uh, Inform Africa. It's a local company, and the third one is uh, Hugging Face. I was actually going to choose <coughs> Mind Drift, but I didn't have time yesterday, so I go with. I went with a bigger company, and uh, the research technique I used was uh, I checked the LinkedIn, uh, the website, and the review from Glassdoor, and <clears throat> I actually used Perplexity AI for most of the information as well, which makes which makes the process much easier. And the <clears throat> the challenge I faced was uh, <clears throat> sorry. The challenge I faced was, uh, as I said, I didn't have a lot of time uh, the past two days. So it was really difficult to get time to do the company research. But other than that, uh, uh, the fact that I use Perplexity AI made uh, the process a lot easier. And for the last question, uh, I don't have a Coolest, but there was one information I got that it made me surprised. Like when I did a company research for OpenAI last week, uh, I found out that uh, Elon Musk was one of the founder, and I was surprised by that. I see. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, thank you, Johannes. That was. Um... Okay, the challenges you face were time, so that like hopefully uh, you'll have more time for this. Next, um, okay. Uh, so I'm yeah, just looking over Sheila's response. Uh, I don't understand the challenges you're facing, Sheila. Future predictions. Uh, what do you mean? Um, when it comes to future prediction, the challenge I'm facing is finding websites to predict the predict the company's future. Ah, I see. So yeah, maybe you will not find information for every company. Uh, so that expected. Some companies you might not find um, such information for. But um, like uh, you didn't find for any company of the companies you tried or you only did one, right? Um, I've done all company studies, okay. but I'm only, the only company study I have done that I've applied to is NetGuardians. Okay. But all of them really struggled with finding future predictions, but I was able to maneuver finding from blogs. and But then, you know, blogs are not a bit reliable because like they're from people's perspectives. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. That's, um, okay. That's, uh, I, I can see that uh, as a challenge, but I mean, it's kind of expected that you cannot find um, the same kind of level of information about like every company. So bigger companies, like uh, all the companies you might find more information about than others. Okay, thank you, Sheila, for that. Um, so did, do we have anyone else who wanted to, to share or someone who haven't spoken yet? Okay, if not, I think uh, we can end the session here. Um, so thank you everyone for being here today. And yeah, have a nice rest of your day. Bye.